Well, it's 45 degrees below zero. A little bit inclement for working on the truck very much. But thought I'd persevere. We're gonna pull the solar panels off the roof and build a sliding solar rig so that we can So fast forward a few weeks and this is what we've come up with. These four panels are the original four that were on the roof and we have four more that we got last fall and we'd lay those out on the ground whenever we could but it was a hassle to put them in and out of the truck and hook up all the cables each time. So I knew something like this needed to be made and I, I thought about it for a long time how I'd do it uh, and this is what I came up with. So. Without further ado. As you can see, there's two switches, which are just have temporarily rigged here at the moment. Uh, so I can control each side independently if we're up against a tree or some other obstacle where I can't extend one side, then that will come in handy. They're on uh, 24 inch stainless steel, 100 pound braided, drawer slides and there's one set per panel and then 24 inch pneumatic cylinders are, uh, are what's actuating it as I'm sure you could hear. The whole thing's a little bit flimsy at the moment or looks flimsy it's just sitting on top of my table saw but I'm sure once this framework gets mounted to the truck it'll bridge it up really nice. So it's just temporarily put together right now, uh, some half of the screws and, and so on, but I thought it was encouraging that it works so well, even cobbled together. So let's take it apart. I'll show you some of the features and how I did it as I go. So this is a stainless steel part I made to join the two solar panels together. So they move as one and that's the air cylinder that actuates them. And there's one on each side, obviously. So one of the main goals here was to keep this as short as possible. So there's very little room here in between all the, the uh, parts. Very little tolerance for error and, and misalignment. So that took a lot of figuring and, and sitting here wondering. So I've just removed the top layer here at the back to try to show you the panels moving underneath. This is the business end of the air system. The green line coming in from the left is the 
air supply, and then there's two uh, five port solenoids, two position five port solenoids, and those control the air cylinders, of course. I have sort of designed myself into a corner in a few places. This one specifically, I needed to buy this uh, ratchet that holds a screwdriver tip. But that's why they make specialty tools, I guess, for specialty problems. So when you break it all down, this whole big assembly is actually pretty simple. The front and rear section are made from 3 uh, L channel, or angle, 90 degree angle. And to those, I have fastened stainless steel drawer slides. And so there's one for each side, obviously. And then there's holes here in the top for the top panel. So the front and back pieces are pretty simple. I'll get that out of the way here. So the middle section is much the same, but a little more complex. The uh, L channel here, I cut this side down and then I made this box trough part from L channel and welded the ends shut and a bunch of stuff, but it's basically a long trough and it's welded to the top of this L channel and then to that I've fastened the air cylinders they are both connected at the tail ends with a pin through the tail end of the cylinder and then I've welded on a flange tab so that I can pin it on there and other than that, it's much the same. The, uh, the reason for the box is to hold the cylinders, obviously, and also to take up the difference in width that the slides add. So they're three quarters of an inch wide times four is the three inch width of that trough. The uh, assembly went together fairly well. I did have a couple situations like this where I measured the holes on two parts and then drilled them and they're off by just enough to cause a problem so I need to oblong some holes like that. And the drawer slides are rated at 100 pounds each pair using just five number eight screws. And while that's probably enough I'm going to uh, sicaflex these rails onto the to the aluminum L channel just for added peace of mind. And then for the solar panels themselves, I cut a whole bunch of these plates from 3/16 aluminum and drilled and tapped them. And then as you can see here, I've glued those to the inside of the frame on the solar panels. Well that's enough for today. My throat's getting sore and I gotta get the rest of this pulled apart and then we'll uh, have room to put our car in here for the cold days ahead. But thanks for watching. Thanks to all the new subscribers. It's ridiculous to to uh, check my email every day and see how many of you are commenting and and enjoying the videos. So thanks so much. See you next time.